Hey guys, so today it is day three of having my septum pierced. Um, I couldn't make a video yesterday because I went home for the weekend and I don't know, I just was really busy and lazy and I don't know, I didn't get around to it. But I know last video I didn't, I wasn't able to like flip it down because it actually like was in a lot of pain and it still like is pretty sore to play with but I decided I would show you guys so this is what it looks like. Um, I don't really, like, like the retainer because it just looks like little boogers. Like, my brother was like, he didn't know I got it, and he was like, um, Julia, you have boogers coming down from your nose. And I was like, eh, not quite. But, um, I mean, it looks pretty straight. It just, it, it's gonna depend on how it heals, and he said I have a deviated septum, and it kind of goes to the side, so who knows what it's gonna turn out like. Um, I can't wait to put some, like, really pretty jewelry in, either one of those, like, gold rings with, like, some little gems or something, or, um, sorry, not picking my nose, or the little ball, uh, the circular barbell. I really just want a tiny one. I like this. I think that, I'm not making any sense. I like how small it is. I told him I didn't want a big one that comes, like, all the way down and hanging, hangs, because, like... I think that for girls, the more delicate you can make the septum piercing, like, the better it looks. So, yeah. Side view. That's what it looks like. I get it. It's not the most popular piercing. Like, a lot of people don't like it, but I like it. I think it's fun. And what I really like about it is it's, like, directly in the center of your face. So, like, a lot of piercings, like, I have my eyebrow or, like, you know, my nose. It's, like on a side of your face so it kind of like changes the symmetry but this one's just right in the middle and I really love it when people have the septum and then um this one right here the medusa that's what that's called right yeah the medusa but I don't want a lip piercing ever because they don't heal I'm extremely rambling in this video sorry about that um so yeah it's healing pretty good I have been cleaning it twice a day it hasn't been bleeding or anything. Um, usually I just keep it flipped up because, like, I was at my house this weekend and I didn't want, obviously, my parents to see it. And, yeah, I'm probably just going to keep it flipped up until I can change the jewelry because I think that I want to show people what it looks like when I have the jewelry I like in it instead of the jewelry that's in it right now, the retainer. Because I think that, like, I don't know. I'm not really making any sense. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'll probably make one tomorrow. Um, if not, I mean, it seems to be healing nicely. It's not really swollen. It hurts when I blow my nose. And sometimes when I blow my nose, this comes out, which is, like, kind of sketch. Because if I'm blowing my nose around my parents, I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to push it up. But um, I'm back at college now, so I don't think that that will be a problem except for when I go home in a couple days. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. My one random question that I'm going to ask you guys, and I'm not really sure if anyone can help me answer this, but I like snore a lot. And you know how they have those things that like pinch your septum that like help you stop snoring? Do you think getting your septum pierced or wearing a retainer that puts pressure on um, your septum do you think that helps you not snore? Because I was just thinking, like, obviously I can't tell if I'm still snoring or not, but, like, that'd be really cool if it helped me with my snoring problem. But probably not going to happen. And that was just really random that I was thinking that. But if any of you guys know, just let me know, please. All right. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I love you.